Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the questions that came today, and I hear it from time to time, you know, when is the best time to buy a PC? What should I buy as a PC? What is my PC that I buy today going to be compatible with Windows 12 and so on? This is the thing that is pretty much very difficult to answer because we don't know minimum requirements of Windows 12. We don't know when Windows 12 will be released. Some rumors of maybe surprise, surprise later this year, but maybe just next year. Um, as we look at the market, when I look at what I'm seeing as we're going towards the future, one thing for sure is I think that a safe buy is any PC that will be compatible as a Copilot plus PC machine. Now, it doesn't have to be ARM. I would actually wait for a lot of them to be on Intel or AMD if you don't want to be on ARM because uh, I would not want to be on ARM for now. I would still want to have you know a good old Intel or AMD uh, X64 machine, but that is compatible as a Copilot plus PC machine. That, I think, ensures that Windows 12 will work. I think if you have a Copilot plus PC machine, Windows 12, I, I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work with Windows 12. I think that requirement will be there. The problem with Windows 12 is we don't know if it's still going to come with a Copilot plus PC compatibility for AI. And at the same time, like Windows 11 right now, which is a two worlds in one, a standard Windows version that works on a good old Intel AMD without NPUs. Uh, this is where the, the question lies. Will Microsoft enforce a new minimum requirement of a machine with an NPU and, and maybe even a machine with an NPU powerful enough to bring it to Copilot plus PC level or not? And that's why buying a PC now is tricky because you might buy a Windows 11 PC now and get to Windows 12, and it's going to say, well, no, that, that machine isn't compatible with me. Um, that said, I would expect Windows 11 to have at least 10 years of uh, life, just like Windows 10 had, and all the previous Windows had 10 years, which means there's still six years life out of Windows 11, which means you'd buy a PC now if you don't care about moving to Windows 12 you'd be probably assured of a Windows computer that's going to work for several years now. Um, but for the purpose of, yeah, but I'd like to move to Windows 12, this is where I think we need to wait for Windows 12. I think we will have the time to assess what we need. We will have time, first of all, if you use, if you're on Windows 10, for example, you are looking at buying a new PC. Well, if you wait... Take that you know, $30 offer of one-year extended security updates. And that with, will bring you to next year, October. Next year, October means we're probably going to be knowing more about Windows 12 and maybe, maybe have Windows 12 already. And so you'll have that minimum requirement that will be there. And you'll get a good idea of, okay, yeah, I that, that's what. If I'd be a Windows 10 user right now, I would just wait. I would just wait. I would take that off for $30 for more, a year or more. Uh, or go to zero patch and even better, get more than one year. And wait until Windows 12 before I take a decision of buying a PC. So, for example, if there's no Windows 12 this year, I have no plans in buying anything new. Um, I don't want to spend on a Copilot plus PC machine right now, even though eventually I will need to have one, especially if I make videos here. It's going to be something to, to play with, and more and more people will have them. But unless I know a little more about Windows 12 and its minimum requirements that might show up at some time, I would wait. Um, I would wait. There's an uncertainty there as to what it will require. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.